So we got ourselves a high intensity hunting ground. Uh, this is a great map choice for this build. Uh, you, with your passive as a sharpshooter, the uh, waves of pox, pox hounds will replenish your team's ammo quite a bit. Um, so you shouldn't run into any massive damage or ammo problems uh, on this particular map mode. Power matrix destabilization imminent. It is imperative you restore the coolant systems before destabilization threshold is reached. Once cryonic rods are deployed correctly, mark you varlets, the system will stabilize and you will have proven somewhat useful. As I said, this is a guide for how, you know, suboptimal players can survive in high intensity hunting grounds. Meaning, I am a suboptimal player. I have an amazing build with an amazing class. Um, if you play smart and you stick to some simple guidelines, like, you know, staying with a teammate at all times, uh, you can definitely make it through these. So, hopefully, we get some uh, teammates that follow those rules and we should be good to go. Hey, tempers is high! I would extend my sympathies, had I any. Lots of weapons were made here. I shall put this simply. There are a great number of hounds in this area. Try to avoid them. May look like so people bad? are just being goofy, sliding all the time, but, you know, it's good to be in practice. Sliding, sliding can definitely make a big difference. Um, repeat sliding while carrying heavy things if you don't have an ogre and stuff like that. Um, just dodging shooters, getting yourself out of sicky situations. It's good practice. CIF key just to see what was up. I'm always trying to target things for my team. Yeah, I can ramp up my slaughter on these little mobs and then go after the crushers, but also looks like my team is pretty good at dealing with things like that. So, that's good. survival than that of your teammates and then getting kills and that sort of thing unless it's disablers disablers comes over helping teammates 
because otherwise you're gonna end up in a situation where you're you're both fucked. Don't open doorways and push forward until your team's ready to do it. If they spawn box down on us right now, it'd be good to have this forced choke point. Stuff like this, like we know where they're coming from. Sort a bunch of this shit out without having to worry about it coming through that door. Just W keep all the time and open doors needlessly, you're putting your team at risk for no It's really crucial not to be the one just forcing more fighting than your team is prepared for. Sometimes just getting around a corner, if you've got full stamina, you can outrun their bursts. But if you're good at pushing them, push them. Shoot them from distance, but don't shoot them up Standard stuff, I'm sure you guys already know. Here, a trapper. I want to go melee on these dogs, but at the same time, I want to let the team get into a position where they can. We're kind of too far back from the doorway to really do it right now. And we are going to replenish a bunch of ammo. Look, I've got 742 for all that. Listen to your audio cues. Basically, tell you what you should be prioritizing at all times. I shot a little weenie, and then I shot the uh, Reaper, then I shot a little weenie again. That would have given me massive uptime on my F key. And once my F key's up and running again, I'm going to grab this ammo, and I'm going to W key in this group. Uh, except it looks like my team has 
sorted out most of it. Got this bomber. Stagger that. It's probably got it sorted. Pay attention to your top left hand uh, screen. You know if things are dead or not. And of course, stick with your team at all times. If they want to go left, one. go left. If they want to go right, go right. A company of Doom Legion too, I heard. Only it wasn't just a session. Xanatos was swarming with Doom's people. It didn't go well. That ain't the question. The question is, what Nothing happened really to them who's there with him? Office is not Being in pairs is okay, you don't want to do it for too long, especially not on hunting grounds and high intensity. You want to stay as four. See a bunch of Mauler's armor over to the left there. Keep track of that sort of thing. Coming. I'm gonna get him softened up. Bone down. My over and let me. Sweep areas before pushing. Coming, bunch of shooters. Sweep and clear. You always want to have an exit strategy, so don't leave a bunch of guys behind you. Power sword will deal with those just as easily but have more risk for yourself. So unless you have teammates helping you out, use a Shredder Auto Pistol. In this case, we're gonna grenade. Switch back to trying to take them out. Grenade's good for stagger, bleed stacks, and of course, some good damage. Always try to keep one grenade in the hole. That way when your other grenade comes up, Sniper, couldn't really see it in there, but I'm gonna try to let my team clear these little weenies while I deal with the shooters. Hopefully they get them. Looks like they are. Cover our six. Shit. These guys are good. Sticking together as a group. Again, try not to leave bunch of guys behind you. This area I find a little bit challenging because they constantly kind of drop behind you. Um, you can't really see that I'm doing it, but I am constantly, uh, I've got my target on my, on my uh, thumb button on my mouse and I'm just kind of constantly clicking it. No, I didn't get those kills. I did stagger that sniper out. Fortunately, we have a med kit. 
There might even be a charge left on that Medicaid station. Like I said, I'm not a great player. Just follow some basic rules. I'll make mistakes as we go here. See how we're holding a door though? You can switch to melee, you can see my ammo's up to full. I haven't picked up ammo in a while. Don't really want to be in this tight spot if uh, we start to hear more specials coming, like uh, beauties, box flamers, and bombers, particularly. But for now, it's good. No. No Medicaid left, so I'm gonna have to live with a little bit of purple on my bar. That's fine. I'm not gonna die. Those gunners are gonna chase behind us a bit, but I'll wait till they collect up and then kill them. Kill some drills in See what's up in front of us. Of shooters, I can sort them out. Help my team. Don't like small rooms with uh, barrels. Kind of want to get through them as quickly as possible. Have to show where the specials are coming from. See, I target the beauty. Just helps focus it a bit. Mixed mobs. Make sure no one's lagging too far behind. Their loop is your loop. We got somebody following us. Oh no, he's Situations like we were just in. Ah, I could use that. I'll take in it. Too worried about that trapper. I'm not gonna have key for it. It's probably behind this door here. Oh no, coming up. He's dead. Beautiful sight. Always dodge while we're reloading. Never know what's gonna be behind you.
got very good horde control, seems to be really good at crushers, which is your two sort of weak points slash necessary for your power sword, so you should have a pretty good run of it. Probably spend most of this run uh, just dealing with specials, elites, and at this point we're just going to go ahead and WTN. See all those specials going melee on them, gave the whole team basically full ammo, so it's a good there. Before you hit your last objective there, make sure you check for any uh, handy loot. We're gonna go ahead and medicate. I usually try to leave the medicate for after the arena, but I don't really want to go down in the middle of shit. Okay, just to show where things are. Good riddance to the boat. Guys kind of getting lost in there. One of the things you can quite often do to help people out is just throw a couple grenades in between you and them. That way they can retreat. You should take notes. Start to get surrounded. And just always trying to make sure you've got one or two left in the hole. Alright, we're gonna go. Can't be swoping. Not 
sure why that wouldn't have hit, but yeah. that shark things. shooters quickly enough. Them, so I just use that to give myself a bit of uh, tankiness against them. We should really go. If you're going down, don't leave a teammate behind. Indicate you're going down. Important. 
World War Arena, and we're good to go. I've seen uh, organized teams do two on the top, two on the bottom. And the bottom team throws up to the top team. I don't know if we're going to be that organized or not. But Maybe uh, Jor and myself stay down. You two go up. Jor can throw it up to you. Intensity oh, hunting grounds. together um, not the not the most efficient way to do that final arena but as long as you stick together and you're trying to help each other out uh, you, you'll get through it and yeah uh, that's uh, 
that's high intensity hunting grounds with this build. Uh, you can see I took the least amount of damage. I used uh, health stations only twice. Um, you know, I'm definitely staggering some enemies for sure, but it's not my primary job. And certainly if you use the auto pistol to hoard clear, you're gonna get a lot more, but you're gonna burn through a lot more ammo. Uh, I think one of the most important stats is not having wasted ammo. Uh, we're gonna get booted out, but I'll uh, I'll take a look at the scoreboard here once we get out of the load screen. Go into a bit more detail on it. So yeah, uh, going back to that, um, you know, making sure that your wasted ammo is zero is, you know, it's a clear indication that you're doing your part in making sure that your team can pick up ammo. I mean, this guy having wasted 1.2k ammo, I think there was a lot of instances where like we had more ammo or laying around than we needed to, so it, it doesn't make him a bad player, but it definitely makes him less conscientious in terms of, you know, making sure that you're trying to leave ammo for your team and you're not wasting a single bullet, basically. Um, in terms of these stats, like I said, uh, you know, coherency efficiency is definitely something you want to keep an eye on. If you're consistently really low on this compared to the rest of your team, then you're not sticking together with your team well enough. Um, and uh, yeah, for the offensive, you can see I definitely did the most damage. Um, you know, I had a really good team. They were all really contributing. Um, to be honest, this is one of the more even spreads I've seen. Uh, boss damage, I was up there, uh, and I wasn't even part of that fight for the first, you know, quarter of that thing's health bar. Um, weak spot, critical hits, doesn't really matter, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, lesser enemies killed, Mont Blanc was definitely doing the work there. Uh, uh but, you know, power swords definitely helping out as well. You can see, um, you know, I was definitely taking out hordes. And this is really what you're focusing on here, guys, uh, with this build. Uh, you can see 34 disablers killed. <laughs> I mean, it, that's that's your job. That's what you're going to be best at. Uh, 26 specials killed. Everybody was involved, uh, which is great to see. But quite often I'll see, you know, basically I've got all of these stats um, compared to the rest of the team. And even with the melee and ranged elites, uh, I'll quite often take top scoring on that as well. So, you know, these four stats are really what you're kind of focusing on with this build. That's your contribution. You know, I love how I have, you know, the low, one of the lowest team scores. Uh, but in reality, you know, I am trying to play for the team the most by focusing on these things. These things wipe parties. That's my job, and and that's what you're trying to do. Uh, more than, you know, getting ahead of your team, trying to go for those damage stats, trying to go for those lesser enemies killed. It's It really is about taking out disablers, then specials, then elites in that order. Uh, and as long as you follow those simple rules as well as sticking to your team and not getting engaged forward in fights that your team is not prepared to get engaged on, you will succeed at high intensity uh, high intensity damnation runs. I hope this guide helps and uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy.